This is a new body of work. Uh, when I say new, it really spans the last couple of years, but it's the first time I've showed this work in public. I did, well, I always did some painting, but it was usually figurative and or insects and fairly literal, fairly linear, very emphasizing the line and the, and the illustration aspect of it. Um, and then I also use mixed media and do light sculpture with styrofoam. So this is a very different direction than all that stuff. But I'll always change directions all the time. But this, I, I can tell I'm going to stick with this. So I started doing them actually at work, like when it was slow, when I worked at this one shop. And we had you know scraps of wood left over from things and all this paint and all these brushes. So instead of doing vertical format, which I usually would do vertical, you know, figure ground, portrait by switch. I was like, I'm going to just switch to horizontal, like one day. And I just started, so I started doing these little fantasy landscapes, just sort of whimsical, charming, out of my head, you know, inspired by something maybe I've seen, but still, you know, not so literal and loose and very much about the techniques and the strokes and like what you can do quickly and easily with a brush. I did my residency at the Petrified Forest National Park, August 2011. This residency I did was in the middle of nowhere, but it was still, like the nearest town was 25 miles away. So you were, you know, you're somewhat isolated, and that was really nice. Like it doesn't scare me. You can only, it was so hot and so bright that I, by 10 a.m. I had to go inside. So I would wake up, you know, for the sunrise every morning, and then I'd go take my walks before 10 a.m. And like this was, I call this four hours out, because this whole area, I walked for hours and hours, and I didn't even feel like I'd gone that far, because you still see the same things in the distance. I did this painting in Monument Valley, and I call it Monument Valley with two horses, because there's two horses in the foreground, but they're, they're like so tiny, people can't even, one you can kind of see right away, the other one you can't. And they're the foreground, and they're so tiny that you can't even see them, and that's the foreground. So that gives you a sense of how far these things are. They look, they look close, but they're really far, these, these buttes. Monument Valley, it's positive space. Like Grand Canyon is negative space, it's carved out, and there's these shapes, but you're looking kind of down into it. Whereas Monument Valley in Sedona, you're looking up at these shapes that are kind of looming. For, after all these years of control, like super control on what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to fight that urge and loosen up. And I think landscapes is sort of part of, it's nature, it's open space, and it doesn't have to resemble a particular person. You know, it just has to resemble the, the feel of that place and the light and the moment.